Good evening, Primetime Squad. How's everybody doing? Man, I know that you guys have heard the tea, alleged tea, regarding this transgender in the picture here right next to Dwight Howard, who is claiming that Dwight Howard and him had a very sexual relationship. And he's also claiming that Dwight Howard has cheated on him with other transgenders. And they happen to be as sexual parties for transgenders. Hmm. Now, I don't know if this tea is truth or lies or blasphemy. But anyway, anyway, I want to put my little two cents on this. So let me show y'all this video clip really, really quick before I get into what I think about the whole situation. One second. Only reason why I uploaded that DM with, with, with us was because the guy told me if I spoke, he would say that he thought that I was a woman or that I tried to catfish him as a woman. And I uploaded that DM to prove that I asked him because after, this was after I found out about him with the with the transgender sex parties. I said, does your, because he was, the girl, the, what, what I seen, what I seen, I'm not even going to speak on that. Allegedly, 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 what I seen. You out here living your best life. So I asked, I said, you know, I DM'd him, I said, does your brother, your family know? I didn't know how close he was with his family at that at that time. You know, I never we never talked about that. And I asked him, like, does your family know that you like date, you know, transgenders and um, you know, gay men? You know, it was just something that I wanted to know, you know, like I feel like that's where you're getting to know somebody because it that right there shows you that if you would ever be in a public relationship with them or if they would ever show you off or if they'll ever take you serious or if you can take pictures with them like you feel what i'm saying like i was trying to fill, fill him out like fill him how he felt and his response was i don't have an answer for you What y'all got to say about that, y'all? Tell me. Honestly, put it in the comment section. For those of you who don't know really what's going on, who haven't been sleeping under a rock lately, let me fill you in. Evidently, there's this transgender named Masin Elijah. And... He is claiming that Dwight Howard is his ex and that Dwight has been threatening and sexually harassing him. He claims that they met on Wild and Out and that later they started chopping it up in each other's DMs and exchanging some very interesting photos. Now, Masin must have either been pissed off, jealous, or both for trying to out Dwight by posting the direct messages between the two of them. He asked him in the DMs, if his family and friends knows about him sleeping around with transgenders after Masin allegedly found out that Dwight has been cheating on him with other transgenders at transgender parties. And he claims Dwight is a bottom as well. Hmm. Can y'all imagine the locker room gossip and chatter that's going on right now? Now, of course, at least I can imagine that at the time, Dwight must have thought that this must be a setup. So he was like, what you talking about, Willis? He wasn't trying to answer that question. Masin then said he was just curious, but Dwight, he knew better to answer that question. Also, Masin claims that some of Dwight's teammates and associates have threatened bodily harm to him if he was to try to expose Dwight. But he also alleges that Dwight's associates offered him hush money. And when he did not accept the hush money, that's when they start threatening him with bodily harm. And also, word on the street is, from ClutchPoint.com, is that he did the same thing to some hip-hop artist named Playboy, Playboy Cardi, which proved to be fake news.
So, do y'all think these are facts, or is Messina a fraud, a scam artist, just trying to shame the wife with some clout chasing? Or do you really think that when people are out here allegedly sleeping around with men and women and allegedly not protecting themselves, that they deserve to be publicly outed? Because that's something else Messina was alleging, that the way that Dwight does not protect himself or his partners. Now, if these are fabricated lies, um, slander and harassment. If I was the white, I'd definitely see him in court because this could possibly mess up, danger, ruin his career. And then another thing, if these are facts and Dwight did cheat on him, if these are facts and Dwight did actually cheat on him he's not married and most likely doesn't owe him anything because of the fact this is a down low relationship and besides Dwight is a baller how many ballers cheat on their girlfriends how many ballers cheat on their wives so you big man because he cheated on you boy bye if he's gay so what and what why are so many gay and transgenders so dedicated to outing men? Like, if you're so upset that they are keeping you under wraps, then why do you keep putting yourself in that position? Just like Monica said, um, stop being a side chick. Quit being sideline hoes. And you wouldn't have to worry about somebody um, being ashamed of bringing you to the daylight. But instead, you think shaming people is the way to go? Ain't nobody want to deal with you after you keep pulling stunts like this. Nobody. And you seriously might get injured by somebody crazy. And you don't want that. And then, another thing. Being that Dwight hasn't been at his healthiest lately, on top of Messina alleging that Dwight has been making death threats as well, his career could be over because of these allegations. And if they are true allegations, Dwight, why didn't you make him sign a non-disclosure agreement beforehand like you've made some of your baby mamas do in the past, like the one that was on Basketball Wives? She couldn't mention anything negative about him publicly. If my son didn't want to sign an agreement, you should have found you another transgender to agree to sign if you want to get down that way which I still believe is your own personal business. And if what Masan is saying is true about you not being safe, it doesn't matter who you're sleeping with. Why are you practicing safe? Why are you not practicing safe sex? I mean, don't you already have like 15 kids by now? Okay, maybe like 9 or 10. But still, that proves right there that he's not too fond of condoms or either his pullout game is definitely not as strong as he would like it to be. But Masin alleges as well, not only does he have DM receipts, but also recordings. But again, does it really matter who somebody sleeps with nowadays? It really shouldn't. It's nobody's business who is sleeping with who or what nowadays. We are not the judge of anybody. Now, he has is and will be clowned for some time to come on social media and probably on the hardwood too. No pun intended. <laughs> Dude's going to be like, I wonder if it's pleasurable to him to slap or get slapped on the butt, on the hardwood floor, of course. Again, no pun intended. <laughs> but one thing I like to say, though, is that I absolutely agree with T.S. Madison. She said, when you get into situations like these, it's just like playing basketball. When you sign up to play that part... Play your position, get your coins, and get out when it's time for you to go. Keep it pushing, bruh. But for a community who is commonly not accepted by many, why do some of y'all feel the need to keep doing this? What do y'all get out of it? Y'all fight every day, have parades, have movements, all the way to the highest courts just to get equal rights. So you wouldn't have to feel ashamed of who you are. But as soon as you get butt hurt, no pun intended, you want to shame somebody else again nowadays who really cares i also 
and always try my best not to judge people, especially the LGBTQ community. But this shaming has got to stop. Even if Dwight allegedly is being careless with his sexual acts, there are millions of people out here every single day being careless with their sexual acts. Thus, all the visits to the clinics every day. So, think on that. <laughs>